everyone likes you, that means you're not really being your authentic self because there's just no way that everyone can like you. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Ida. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be reviewing this beautiful headband wig from My First Wig. And I'm going to try on different headbands and different hairstyles. I'm also gonna answer a question about friendships. So if you guys are interested, stay tuned for the video. So I want to show you what it comes with because I was actually really surprised and really happy to see that it came with basically everything you need for, you know, making your wig look amazing. So it came with this cute little bag and it has two alligator clips so if you want to like section your hair comes with some bobby pins and these are the ones that i love like the more larger ones it actually came with a really good edge control it came with this really cute like um kind of like a toothbrush thingy to lay your edges down and it has like a nice little comb to really like perfect it then it came with two wig caps and these two headbands also i really want to recommend um this black cream of nature perfect black edges and why i love it so much is that it um, basically kind of gives you the appearance of thicker edges because it's black and if you just put a little bit in you can cover some spots that are thinning out isn't this wig just gorgeous you guys i love the density i love the texture it feels super soft and i'm going to show you guys the back as well It's just so gorgeous and I don't even want to put a flat iron through it because I just love like the body to it but I also probably want to put some wand curls to it as well just to kind of see. I might even try it with like a bang coming out, you know what I mean? Just to see what it looked like because I don't really like the way my forehead is looking here. I usually do a middle part and then my hair will kind of hide the sides of my edges. I just love how soft and fluffy and thick it looks. Over top, I'm going to use the black one so that I could, you know, thicken up the sides a little bit. This is the look of the first headband and I really love it. I think it's so beautiful. Oh my goodness. I feel like I have such a different take on friendships now that I'm older. I can't speak for everybody, but for myself, when I was a lot younger, sometimes you just want to be liked and you feel like, you just feel so much better about yourself when you have a lot of friends and you think that, you know, you just want to be accepted. And I guess I can say I was like a people pleaser when I was younger. And I just wanted to be liked by so many people and I just kind of felt like I wasn't always sometimes being my authentic self because I was kind of fearful that like they wouldn't like me anymore. When you do stuff like that, that means, you know, when you're not being your authentic self, you're going to attract the wrong people for you and it becomes, you know, very exhausting and draining to basically pretend to be a certain person just so that you can be liked. I really like this half up half down style and I feel like it's much easier to do when you actually have like more density. And I can also turn this into a bun at the top. I'm just gonna twist it around. But yeah, like I remember when I was younger, like friends were like everything. They were like my whole life, you know, that was basically with my friends all the time, all day long, and we would just hang out and it's just like, I feel like you're also discovering yourself at that time too when you're younger and so, you know, sometimes we, yeah, we don't really know who we are too and so it's very hard to be your authentic self if you don't even know who you are. And I feel like when I got older, um, I basically did a lot of like self-improvement, self-help and just spent more time in solitude. I wanted to be more authentic to who I was and I just wanted to attract the right people to me, basically. I wanted to attract different types of friends, friends that I wanted to like be inspired by, friends that I looked up to, friends that I can learn from, friends that were like a really positive influence on me. I just really wanted to grow and just really learn. And you have to get to a point where you have to, you know, put down some boundaries 
and you know some healthy boundaries for yourself what you are willing to tolerate what you are not willing to tolerate if they truly are for you they're going to want to respect your healthy boundaries once i got to that point where i was much more confident within myself and who i was and i had more of a direction on who i wanted to be and where i wanted to go in life that's when i started to attract the right type of friends into my life and also once you become comfortable in your own space and comfortable being alone you actually get to be much pickier and choosier with who you invite into your life as a friend because when you are comfortable being alone like you're not fearful of not having any friends and you actually enjoy your own company anyway so if you do happen to find friends that you love that's addition to your happiness that you already have. Friendships are very, very important. Just relationships in general are very important. I always focus on quality rather than quantity so that you actually have really meaningful relationships in, in your life and you actually have the time to actually nourish those relationships. Because you don't wanna overextend yourself in trying to be friends with everybody because then it's just very hard to cultivate an actual meaningful relationship with somebody. And so that's basically what I did and Ever since I like applied that into my life, my life has just been so much more peaceful and positive and you know, I can actually be myself and not have to worry like is this friend going to, you know, not be friends with me anymore because I said no or because I didn't want to do what they want to do. My friends are very respectful of me. I'm very respectful of them and it's just so much easier that way. I know my friends are going to be there for me if I ever need them. Um, they're not there just for the good times. I learned so much from them. It's a two-way street. We learn and grow within each other. We have fun together. And so I really do like it. It's much more peaceful, like no drama. That's another thing that I don't miss too when I was younger and I had so much friends. Usually, you know, sometimes, not usually, sometimes when you have too much friends, like, you know, that can also create a little bit of drama sometimes, like, because this person said this, and this person doesn't like this person and it's just I just wanted to really avoid that and so I always try to you know make sure that not only am I cultivating good relationships but like you know not gossiping and all that kind of stuff just keep it really healthy and positive you know and if that person is meant to be in your life as a friend it's just it's just going to work out you know what I mean like they'll actually understand and respect it so Oh, this is really cute actually too this is just kind of like a little ponytail i'm gonna try to put this in a bun but yeah especially like when you try to go after your goals that's gonna be even more time consuming and like when you just get older as an adult and you have much more responsibilities and goals your life just becomes much more busier and you just don't have the time to entertain certain things that you once were you know able to do yeah you just want like friends that are just gonna be there for you that are positive uplifting anything that's going to add to your life not take away or cause more stress if you know what i mean for me less is more i feel like in everything in life to be honest like it just makes life a bit easier if you have like even just a couple of amazing friends in life, I feel like that is just more than enough to be honest. Don't be afraid to be authentic and be who you are because that's how you're going to attract the right friends for you. So you can be yourself and you'll find like like-minded people because you guys enjoy pretty much the same things and you guys just, you know, just have a lot in common so things will be much easier you guys will get each other and also once you focus on quality rather than quantity you actually can you know take the time to actually become a really good friend so you know taking the time to you know keep in contact with them and see how they're doing maybe do some nice things for them help them support them you know just just be there for them as a friend and you know, you're able to do that once you focus more on quality rather than quantity. My friends, like, they're just like me where we can go months, several months without talking and then we can just pick up right where we left off like it was nothing and no hard feelings, no one's mad at each other. We just respect each other's schedules. We know that we're busy. Once you practice self-care and self-love, it's very, very hard to tolerate anything other than that for yourself and for your life. And so that's what I would encourage. It always starts off, I feel like, from a self-love and self-care point. You wanna be able to detect people's intentions as well. Um, Cause there are some people out there, 
you know, that might not have the best intentions. Um, so you might think they're like this amazing friend or, you know, you met this amazing person and, you know, you're super trusting and you see all the good in them, but you want to pray for discernment um, so that you can easily tell if that person is the right fit for you, if they have the best intentions for you. Sometimes, you know, you have people that just want to use you or sometimes they're toxic. Sometimes, you know, you can befriend someone that's jealous of you or envious. The moment I sense that that's what's going on, I just usually immediately distance myself from that person and just trust your intuition because it never lies to you. And if you sense something wrong about a person, then that, that usually is right and that person's just not for you. And not everyone is for each other. And that's what I realized. Like, if everyone likes you, that means you're not really being your authentic self because there's just no way that everyone can like you because you know there's there's different personalities and different compatibilities when you have boundaries um, people respect you more and you actually stick to them so for me now i focus more on respect rather than having people like me because i do feel like that is more important and like i said the people that you do attract in your life like those are the friends for you and they're going to like and respect you so it's it's basically a win-win situation for all but wow, this hair looks really, really beautiful. Wow, I think this is how I'm probably gonna wear it most often. I'll show you guys the back. Also too, communication is a huge part of cultivating good friendships. You know, if you have an issue with something or something bothered you, you know, talk to them about it. You know what I mean? And, and like, and if you do something wrong, apologize and you know work things out because when you're dealing with friendships and you want a long lasting friendship, you're bound to have some ups and downs eventually. That's just usually human nature. And a lot of the times it's due to miscommunication. But again, it depends on like what exactly happened. If it's like a deal breaker, if somebody did something really bad to you, then that's when you gotta decide like, do I end this friendship now? Or can we talk through this? Can we work it out? If you really value the person, you really value the friendship, is it something that, you know, is worth salvaging and, you know, working on? And it's not gonna be easy, but I do feel like it's definitely worth it. Communicate, apologize when you're wrong, forgive when they're apologizing to you. It doesn't mean you have to stick with the friendship or it doesn't mean your friendship will always stay the same. Um, but if you really value and love that person, you're gonna work on it and you know build back that trust or that friendship. Oh yeah, one last thing I want to mention about friendships is that it's okay to outgrow people and outgrow friendships. Like I've had friendships, you know, when I was younger, and you just outgrow them. Like nothing actually happened, nothing bad or anything like that. You just started to, you know, outgrow each other. As you're growing older, you're becoming who you are and that might not align anymore with those friends that you once had. And so instead of forcing yourself to stay friends with them, even though you have nothing in common anymore, even though you guys don't get along anymore, like it's just better to just sometimes just, you know, find those friends for you. And sometimes it's, it's not a bad thing. Sometimes it's just that friend was supposed to be there for that season and now you're on to the next part of your life and you'll probably, you know, meet other friends that are more aligned with who you, you know, are at the moment. And then of course, sometimes you still have those friends from when you're really young till when you're super old and you guys were able to grow together. And that's really amazing as well. So let me know in the comments below, do you guys have any tips of yourselves when it comes to friendships? Also, I would love to know your guys' thoughts on this beautiful headband wig. Um, this is so gorgeous, you guys. All the details will be in the description box below and they are having a Black Friday sale as well. So you definitely want to go check it out because this wig is actually pretty affordable and I can tell that it's very good quality so it's going to last for a very long time. So thank you guys so much for watching and of course, if you guys like this video, go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, and share and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!